continuing that countdown to Christmas. That's right. That doesn't mean it does not stop here yet. We are this time <laughs> now heading over to Rockingham County where they have some stuff in store for us today as well. That is great. And so it's important that we are highlighting notable businesses, organizations and the people that make up our wonderful viewing area. So this morning, like Christina mentioned, Rockingham County is who we are featuring. So we are featuring the Wandering Sun Meadery. I love that name. It's the latest business to open up in the town of Madison, and not they are they are the only producer in the triad of a once popular drink that is now making a huge comeback. I have a feeling it's this what we're talking about behind <laughs> us. Maybe, maybe. This is cool. So joining us now is Trevor Ogle. He is the owner of Wandering Sun Meadery. Great to have you. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? We are great, I hope you are too. So let's first talk about what mead is, M-E-A-D, for those of us who don't know. Sure, sure, so mead is actually a, an alcoholic beverage. It is thought to be probably the oldest alcoholic beverage dating back about four to five millennia BCE. And it's found all over the world. It's been pulled out of tombs in ancient China, ancient Egypt. It's now the uh, the official beverage of Ethiopia, so it's really everywhere. And it is a wine, but instead of being fermented in grapes, it's made entirely from honey. Entirely from, say that again, you're, come, you're from, cutting out a little bit. I'm sorry, it's made entirely from honey. Honey, oh wow. Honey, yes, so it is a honey wine. A honey wine. Now, I'm gonna guess, is it sweet, Trevor? So it can be sweet. It can also be extremely dry, okay. like, a, like a white wine. Yeah, you can make it sort of any way you want, which is why it's so popular. I've had mead before, but I've never had the, the drier kind. I've only had the very, very sweet kind. So that's interesting. I didn't know that. Absolutely. Well, Trevor, we also know that your ingredients that you make this wonderful mead with are sourced locally as well. Can you share a little bit about that and why you guys make that a part of your mission? Sure, so it's important to support the local community um, and we do that with our business uh, from day one. We get all of our honey from WGB Farm in Eden, North Carolina. Uh, it's a very large bee farm. We use a lot of honey and it's really, uh, it's, it's kind of neat because essentially our customers, when you taste the mead, you are tasting the flowers of your, your own backyard. You know, these bees go around, they collect the honey from, from your flowers potentially. Uh, we also use local water uh, and we use local talent for a lot of the things. Our, most of our, our uh, for example, our wine cabinet and our bar were built with local talent. So we're really just trying to uh, prop up and support local businesses as well as our own. Very cool. So it sounds like you're supporting the community mm -hmm. and has the community been supporting you? How has that reaction been since you've opened? Absolutely. It's been really great. So at first people thought, you know, meatery is that are you going to have, you know, like <laughs> kinds of meat? <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's mead. So uh, we've had folks come in and, and try this, this wonderful amber beverage, uh, and it, it's been to their delight, I'd like to say. Um, most people have really, really enjoyed it. We have a lot of regulars so far. People have spread it by word of mouth, and it seems to be impressing people as sort of a wine alternative, just sort of a fun place to hang out, something new to do. Trevor, what is next for Wandering Sun? What are your big dreams? <laughs> well, the big dreams, uh, we, you know, we'll stick to the small dreams, the short term, but <laughs> next we would definitely like to, uh, to probably, we're looking at potentially moving a tasting room towards the Winston-Salem area. Uh, oh. My brother is one of the owners, he lives in the Winston-Salem area, and we'd just like to introduce it down there and kind of share the, share the word of me with folks down there. Uh, also, I'd like, to, I'd like to see Wondering Sun meet in a lot of our uh, local stores to sort of get the word out that way and show people that there are a lot of interesting things being made right here in Rockingham County that, that aren't just beer and wine. We just saw a picture of the Grinch. What was that about? Oh, uh, there was a, uh, a Christmas parade here in Madison uh, two weekends ago, I think. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the Grinch definitely definitely came by and left the kids some balloons, so that was nice. They were terrified at first. <laughs> of <course>. Naturally. <laughs> of course. And Trevor, you have been talking about the mead. You have a sweet, you have a dry kind, but what can you sort of break down for us? What pairs with mead pretty well? Because, you know, when you have your drink, you also might want a little bit of food to right. go along with it. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, mead functions a lot like a white wine. So whatever would pair with a white wine works pretty well with it. Um, it. It definitely tastes a little bit different. Um, 
but it functions like a white wine. You can cook with it like a white wine. You can also have mead with fruits, mead with spices. One of our most popular has several different cooking spices in it. I call it the Viking, so it's sort of a more traditional blend of spices. So really, uh, whatever kind you get can sort of pair with, with whatever you're interested in. And do you have any snacks or nibbles or anything at the mm -hmm. meadery? Uh, we just have some basic snacks. There are a couple places in town that kind of hold down the food front. I'm really just focused okay. on making the mead. <laughs> yes, we stop by Wandering Sun for our beverage of choice. Trevor, thank you so much. And for thank folks so as they are heading out to Madison, be sure to stop by. It's located there on South Market Street, once again in Madison. And to follow along with their journey, visit the website on your screen, wanderingsunmead.com.